guys, my name is Beza or Owen, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the stroke effect in After Effects. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. See so yeah, that is, if you didn't see that, I'll play it again. It's the white line going around the outside of the gun. So yeah, that's what we're going to re recreate in today. So what you want to do is hop onto After Effects, uh, come up with a page like this, and if you go to File, Import input file and find the clip you want. I'm going to use the same clip um, for this purpose. And what you want to do is you click the clip which here and you get this little bo white box and if you drag it into this big rectangle here it will make a new composition. So once you've done that if you go right click the clip and go to time and enable time remapping and drag you'll come up with this little keyframe, this little um, grey diamond if you drag that to about one second halfway just there like that okay and if you see it will actually like freeze the frame until it gets to there and then it'll start moving once you've done that you wanna click on the clip again and hold down control and D on your keypad and it will recreate the clip um, if you want to right click that again and then go down to rename and rename that whatever you want I'm gonna call it stroke and what you want to do is you want to go to the end of the clip and drag down the clip to where you get to your keyframe. Um, this is the stroke one that you want to drag down by the way. So drag that down to where the keyframe is. Like so. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to mask around the whole gun. Now this is quite lengthy and takes quite a while. Um, to zoom in, you can either go to this zoom button here, which is like a magnifying glass, or you can press the dot button on your um, full stop button on your keyboard. You want to zoom right into it, and you basically just want to mask around the whole gun. So there's a little pen tool here. If you click that, and you just want to very carefully, you can spend much more time on this than me. I'm doing it quickly for tutorial 6. Um, if you're stuck like this, um, go to this hand tool here and drag it up a bit and then go click back on the pen tool. Um, this takes quite a while and it is annoying. Um, but yeah. For the tutorial sakes, I'm just not going to go around the whole thing, I'm just going to go around the main parts of the gun just to show you like so now I'm coming to the end of this now Oops. If you ever make a mistake or go onto the go to the wrong bit, if you press Control and Z on your keyboard, it will undo it for you. you can press that as many times as you want, and it will redo what you've just done in case you put a marker in the wrong place, for example. So carry on doing this until you go right round. Oops, I made a mistake there. So press Control. Said to redo it. Right. Okay, this is pretty much done now. Just the final little bit. Um, if you have any questions about this, just leave a comment, and I'm sure I can get to you. Right, so on this bit, you just want to go around this bit, go down here like so. Like that. 
and then if you zoom out by pressing the comma key on your keyboard um, move it to where you want it again and then zoom in again and join it up like so so now you've done that what you want to do is if you go into the effect tab at the top and go down to generate and then down to stroke um, nothing will happen so what you want to do is make sure you're right at the beginning of the clip um, press when it, where it says end press a little stopwatch and where it says 100% click on that and change that to zero now go to the end of your clip and to get to the end up here there is a um, frame so if you go to the next frame um, the one just before it moves basically so mine's there if you go to there and then put it back up to a hundred right so once you've done that take it back to the beginning again and put the brush size which is here up to four so now if we take a look at that you'll see that the white line goes all the way around it and uh, start to move like so so that's just it guys and um, thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any um, questions just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be glad to help um, make sure you subscribe to me link will be in the description sorry that I didn't go all the way around it uh, I was just doing it for time's sake thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys later